This is happiness to be everything at once. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned. Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Mood Prep. My name is Dave Nixon, and today I uh, I want to go through a quote that actually that I um I came across listening to Aubrey Marcus's podcast with uh, Jordan Peterson, and um, I was listening to this on I don't know Sunday or some shit, maybe Monday, one of the days where I was doing the things, um, and uh, it was a, it was a quote that Aubrey Marcus shared with Jordan, and that quote went, "The sun doesn't measure its light." by the shadows that it casts and I mean old mate JP really enjoyed it he's called it quite poetic actually but I, I, th- I this quote hit me and I quite liked it I think it may be because I've, I've been talking a bit about if not on my podcast in my personal conversations about comparisons and reference points and all these sorts of things and I thought that that was such a beautiful way to put the fact that you look at something so powerful right because that is the sun so the sun is life without the sun we wouldn't have life that's the whole premise i mean if you look at the documentary if you want to call it that um zeke geist it talks about how uh religion and there's no disrespect to religion but religion actually all references um the light and god is you know the son of, of of god so to speak and it's actually referring to um the actual sun because we, it works around solstices, which means that there's a time in the year where we can actually harvest, etc., etc., etc. Either way, go check it out if you want to. If you don't want to, then fuck, who cares? Just don't. But my point here being is that without the sun, we wouldn't have light. So the the actual sun is life. And so when we understand that, to break this quote right down, that it's not talking about just the sun. He's talking about life. Life doesn't measure its, its, its ability to... to to breathe, to give impact, as in the sun doesn't measure its light, so life doesn't measure its ability to give life by the shadows that it casts. Now, this is this is really fascinating, and if by the shadows that it casts, it's like by the size of the things it gives its light to, right? It's got nothing to do with how big you are. You have to keep giving your life, and you have to keep giving your light, and what comes through from the center of you. Like, this is a fucking poetic beautifulness of it, right? Um, I think beautifulness is not a word. I think beauty is the word I was looking for, but I'm fucking sticking with beautifulness because I love that. That's great. But the beauty of that, right, is the fact that too often we'll find ourselves comparing what other people think of us. And I, I speak to the people in the industry around this and in, in the fitness industry and they're like, well, I got really good feedback from these people so I mustn't be doing that bad of a job. It's like, fucking listen to your sentence. You got subjective information by people who you barely know based on your performance so you're judging how your worth is on that. It's like, no, no, no. You, you, you have to have this, this certain level of authority that got taken away from us when we're young. And fair enough. Like, fuck, you don't know anything when you're 12, right? You think you do. I thought I did. But the reality is is that you know nothing. So there needs to be a certain level of authority around us. I think that's that's good because it teaches us to fall but not to, not to die, hopefully, right? Whether that be, you know, metaphorical or whatnot. But when it actually comes down to this inner internal authority, it's like, no, no, I know that what I'm sharing is is genuine and, and the, the intent, which is, is grossly underrated, is, is extremely positive, right? And, and and warm and loving. And as long as you're coming from there, you can you can awkwardly stumble your way through life to become something of such a positive influence in the world. But if you stop yourself from doing that because you're comparing your power your 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 muse your voice everything to how it impacts other people right you got to fucking be careful of that because the there's people out there who are just in a state of being small right they're really just in the sense of like everything angers them everything you know frustrates them they're upset with everything i would say they're playing small and and if your light only casts a little shadow from that person you cannot judge yourself by that in the same way you have someone who's who's just stands massive like don't judge yourself from that either because it's true confidence is is not needing praise and not letting yeah not letting praise nor criticism touch you 
because you can. You, it doesn't mean you shouldn't take it in. It means that you can see it objectively and and see what's useful for you, but still have that internal barometer of knowing what is right for you. Sorry, the mechanics next door are having a having a field day today. <laughs> if you can hear that, it's great. You're killing my vibe, Tommy. You're fucking killing my vibe. God damn it. Anyway, so to 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 reiterate what I'm saying here is that. There's this certain level of feedback that we need from the outside world, yet we need to be able to also go inside and go, does this sit right with me, the quiet voice, with who I believe I am and, and who I truly am and, and what I truly want for the future? And our ability to do this is very, very powerful and very important to do it as well because it allows us to not get swayed left, right, and fucking center our whole life hoping and thinking that somebody else has a better idea what I should do with my life. And that's not true. It is it is your life. And I know you know this. I'm not telling you anything brand new. That's the whole fucking point. I'm just reminding you that when you feel yourself handing your power over, just ask why. And is, is it really you handing your power over or is it 10-year-old you handing your power over? Right? Is it your inner child that's doing that because you're unsure, you don't trust yourself. It's like, yeah. those are the things we need to figure out because when it comes full circle, breaking down this whole quote, and I'm like, I'm trying to once again squeeze this into 10 minutes, but really it's like, we are nothing but light. We are only the observer. We are only energy, right? On so many different levels. And and knowing that it's it's our role in this, in this world, it's actually our responsibility. There's a lot of conversations about rights, but very little people are talking about responsibility. It's like your responsibility to shut the fucking monkey mind up, to listen to the voice inside that tells you how you should make a positive impact on this earth. And that doesn't have to be on a large scale. It can be on a like a home scale. This is the whole idea of, if you go back to Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life in one of his books, right? He talks about clean your room first before you criticize the world. And that's being criticized. But it's like, no, no, I think that's, that's fair there. It doesn't mean you, you have to keep your room tidy. It means don't pray in public. Don't go trying to fix everything out there when you've got shit at home that you need to sort out. And you can, be, you can leave a positive impact on this world by doing that just by keeping your house tidy and loving the neighbor. And this is not to be religious. I, I don't go to church. I don't have that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed with those that do whatever, like that's fine. What I'm getting at here is that these are basic principles that when applied, allow us to live a very genuine, healthy life that allows us to let our light shine, if you want to call it that, without this reference point of other people's response to our light. All right, and you can change the word light to mean whatever the fuck you want. That's what that's what I do with God, by the way. When I hear people like if I if I come across someone who is super religious and they're talking about God, I just sub the word for whatever it is that I want to sub it for at that point in time. I'm not talking like I'll sub it for you know SpongeBob. I'm saying I'll will sub it for no offense, Mr. Religious people out there, Mr. Religious people out there. I'm, I'm saying I'll sub it for like God is um, the universe or God might be um, the inner wisdom, whatever it is, right? And you can do the same thing for light. So when I talk about light here, you can talk about your potential. You could talk about your love, right? You could talk about the quiet voice, what, it, the, what your muse whispers to you every fucking day when you get to go to work and it's like you tell it to shut up, but really in later on, the muse, the muse doesn't go anywhere, right? The thing that's within inside of us that we want to do with our life actually doesn't go anywhere. We can shut, we can shut it up, but it just gets resentful later on. And you know this, so... Lessons from the sun. The sun doesn't measure its light by the shadows that it casts. Boom. Team, thank you very much for listening to this podcast. If you found this beneficial, if you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you would share it with someone else that you think would also enjoy it and find it beneficial. Now, I did mention I have some great news, exciting news, all that sort of stuff. And if you follow me on social media, you would have seen it already. I have actually teamed up with uh, both Nick Shaw from Renaissance Periodization and um, Publishizer, which is a website. It's effectively a crowdfunding website for authors. And I'm releasing my first book, but I need your help. I do need your help, and it would mean the world to me. I'll put it in the comments here. It's also in the Mood Prep Online group. That's free until July. So quickly jump on it. But it would mean the world to me if you could help me out and purchase a, a pre-sale of my book. I need about 250. I'm halfway there, um, and I'd be more than glad to send it to you personally. Um, it would mean the world to me. But team, that's it. Now, the book's called The Human Movement. You can find out more about it with the link. I'd love it if you'd check it out. Um, otherwise, as always, thank you very much for listening. Until tomorrow, peace and pizza. 
kick today in the dick. Slay the dragon. I'll see you soon. Unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned.